We present a fully automatic method for tree models that react to their environment. Our method uses biologically inspired transformations and procedural content creation that account for interactive changes of the shape of such complex models. A vast amount of previous work has introduced tree modelling approaches, with the result that today content creators can select many tree models from large repositories, create them manually, or grow them according to biologically based algorithms. However, these models are typically static, even though the same tree species can have a variety of forms, depending on how they interact with the environment. We present a framework that interactively transforms tree shapes as a reaction to changes in their surrounding environment. The transformations are biologically based, and the tree automatically adapts its form to the local situation. Many of these models can be adapted in real time until they fit the user's needs. Please note that the approach is not aimed for animation, but for design, therefore temporal incoherence can be tolerated. Similar to Livni et al, our tree models are composed of a tree skeleton and a set of leaf clusters that contain small procedural elements such as branches and leaves. The transformations are applied to the skeleton as well as its leaf clusters. In contrast to Livni et al, our input is a complete tree model that can be created by virtually any system. We first analyse the tree structure and then compute the age of branches, since most trees create branches in a determined temporal order. As the final form of the tree is the result of a growth process and a competition for resources, we calculate how much light the different leaf clusters receive. A tree reacts almost exclusively to changes in local lighting. Here we show what happens if a shadow is cast onto parts of a tree. If a branch does not receive enough light, its growth is reduced and it will eventually die off. The branch also bends towards the direction of the light. The self-shadowing process thins out the tree canopy in the overlapping region when two models approach each other. In botany this is called the fight for light and the crown is the emergent phenomena of this process. We implemented several kinds of interaction. Besides casting shadow, the presence of a solid obstacle can also modify the growth of the main skeleton. The interactive behaviour of our model comes from lobe-based representation. The main skeleton and leaf clusters are deformed geometrically on the CPU, while the procedural filling of the leaf clusters is performed by the graphics hardware. The method can be applied to various tree models with different parameters and to a variety of obstacle types. Our method allows for the interactive editing of complex scenes. First, some trees are placed in the backyard of a small home. For efficiency reasons, we are able to turn off transformation of the models while we move the trees around. Once in their final position, transformation is turned on again and the scene adapts. Here we show how a tree is moved into a forest. The unaffected trees are displayed in grey, while the affected trees are shown in colour. We can see that the changes are only local, and also observe how the trees adapt to the existing conditions. Although this is not real-time anymore, users can still interact with such scenes. Here a box has moved into a complex ecosystem, with 40 million triangles at about 5 frames per second. Plastic trees allow static tree models to interact with their environment efficiently.